As we have understood how to manage Spark Metastore databases, let us understand how to manage Spark Metastore tables. With respect to Spark Metastore tables, it is much broader and wider compared to Spark Metastore databases and hence uh, it will be covered in multiple sections. For now, let us create our first Spark Metastore table and also see how to list the tables. We will uh, review all the details with respect to Metastore tables as part of subsequent sections. And keep in mind that you use your OS username as prefix for the databases if you are using our labs. Don't just use ITVersity like this. Use your OS username. You can go to a terminal by saying file and then by saying new terminal. And then it will actually show you the user using which you are connected to. You can see this part. Only this is your username at GW01. Don't use at GW01 while creating the databases. And then you replace this with that username and then say underscore retail and then you can take it further. I am just validating which database I am connected to. By default we will be connecting to default database. Irrespective of which database you are connected to or attached to, you can actually run this command called as drop database, database name cascade. If there are objects in the database, those objects will also be dropped and then database will be dropped. Now I am creating this itversity underscore retail database afresh. I am switching to the database using use command and this is how a simple create table command look like which can actually accept text format data and we will actually get into those details at a later point in time. The syntax says create table table name and then the column names along with data type. The column names are nothing but order ID, order date, order customer ID, order status and the data types for order ID and order customer ID are int and the data types for order date and order status are string. You can actually specify how the data is structured in the file. In our case, we are using CSV data and hence we have to use this syntax. We will get into these details as part of a dedicated section with respect to DDL and DML at a later point in time. For now, just create this table by copy pasting. To list the existing tables in the database we are attached to, we can run this command called as show tables and it will actually show itversity underscore retail and orders as the output. Orders is the table name and itversity underscore retail is the database name. We can also drop the table using drop table command. We'll get into more details at a later point in time. Same is the case with uh, truncate command which can be used to just remove the data by keeping the table structure as is. We'll actually get into the details at a later point in time. For now we just understood how to create a table and how to list the table. A table will typically contain the column names and the data types and also some table level properties. In this case, one of the property is uh, nothing but row format delimited fields terminated by because we are planning to get the data which is in CSV file format, a text file format with comma as the delimiter. It is enough for now. We will get into a lot more details as we proceed further.